time to get on with the bulkhead. I've marked out where I want to cut. On the back side of this is a reinforcing plate and I want to cut just outside of that because hopefully that'll come with a new part that I'm going to cut out of that gold donor car. I don't want to upset this area and everything else is solid so um, I'm just going to cut out the bare minimum that I need to, uh, making sure I get all the ru rust out because trying to weld good metal to rusty metal just doesn't work. It's I've learned from experience it's just not worth it. If it's even got a bit of surface on it, just get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to start with that and then devise a cunning plan for not only getting access but um, working out how to chop that out and then um, a plan for rebuilding it. I'm um, going to be chopping that side of the firewall up there. So I've just peeled back the trim to make sure that I don't a damage it it'll be set it on fire with sparks because I'm out here by myself um, so I'll have to go and get a bucket of water just in case all right to do this I've been using my Bosch decent grinder like mains power but access is appalling particularly when you get down this side so I've switched to a DeWalt handheld one uh, which is weedy but it allows you to get in there. Um, I'm also gonna, as I go, bend that in and then I can get the grinder hopefully in down that side and do a neat job of it. Ta-da! That's the offending area. That's the reinforcing plate on the back which I tried to miss and looks like I have uh, just about caught it at the top there. But that's good because it means I can um, get a new section put in really nicely. There's a bracket there which I think was just to hold the sound deadening which doesn't really matter but you can see how actually most of the parent metal around here is good. It's just some slight surface on the top where I've kissed it with the grinder you can actually see that it is just very very minor rust where um, probably clutch fluid has taken the break for, uh, sorry taken the paint off the surface. That's the hole I'm left with. It didn't catch fire which is nice. Uh, I still haven't tackled that area yet. I'm wondering whether I shouldn't try and drop the engine or move the engine out of the way or chop the scuttle out and then go in through there. Uh, the answer to that I don't know yet. I'm still thinking and planning. Been doing some exploratory cleaning up and cutting. Used the drill with the um, brass wheel on it to um, clean up the surface rust and then made some discoveries that will definitely need to be chopped out to be welded so uh, I've done what you shouldn't ever do which is take the guard off your grinder because it's dead easy to chop your fingers off I did actually catch my finger but fortunately it's still attached um, I can't get into the last bit so I'm gonna try and um, get my air hacksaw out here to do that and um, we'll see how we go with that just took my gloves off to um, play with that hacksaw that is how close you can get when you take the guard off your grinder that could have been seriously nasty so yeah you can do it but beware the results could be quite painful this is my super cheap uh, pneumatic saw which I got from either Audi or Lidl for about a tenner impulse line whoops um, never used it so I'm going to try one of their hacksaw blades and hopefully can chop out the rest of that bulkhead. Good to go. Sounds a bit weedy, but um, I don't have the best compressor. I'm also wishing I'd parked the car closer to the office so it'd make <coughs> yeah, the air loss a bit less to deal with. So, plan is get it in there, chop out as much as I can. You know that thing you get what you pay for? Well, it's true, because this thing is fucking useless. Watch. Oh, it, it doesn't really do anything other than empty your compressor. So I'm going to go back mandronic, get a hacksaw blade and pair of pliers, and do it the old school way. Right, who needs power tools when you have hands? 
pesado, ¿eh? That's taken a grand total of about 30 seconds. It's longer to set up three airlines and plug in some crappy tool than it did to just do that by, by hand. Didn't even put grips on it. I want to get that bit out and I could spend ages chopping or I could just use an old wood chisel and a hammer. So that's what I'm going to do. the offending front section of the scuttle, I guess you'd call it a manifold, where the water is meant to drain out through those holes. Basically, water's got trapped there and rotted it out. That's for the bin. I'm going to clean up this area and see what there is actually to weld back to. Because I know I've got a hole down here, which I don't know whether I'll be able to weld it up. Actually, the rest of the metal is um, pretty good. So I'll do a bit more poking and um, yeah, see what's underneath. I've cleaned that up a bit with the um, grinder with a flat wheel on it. This is the problem area because that when you poke it is feels like solid metal but i'm not sure whether it's going to take a, a weld properly um so yeah the other side's pretty damn good it's like the the front surface of the metal once you wipe all this crap off it's actually solid metal um particularly at that side which is good i just need to get that flange off um i'm about done for today because it's still raining and it's raining harder and I'm getting colder so I'm gonna call it a day and then go out to the gold car again chop the um, panels out that I need and then hopefully next week I can if the weather well weather permitting weld some of this stuff back in just trial fitting those bulkhead panels I've um, trimmed them up and I've just dusted off the surface with a sander to get rid of the high points Mm, they don't look great, but um, hopefully by the time they're painted, hopefully by the time they're painted and um, they look all right. We shall see. I'm still fingers crossed. I'll find some decent ones at one point, but um, they'll do for the moment. I've trimmed the panels up. Um, I actually fitted them in the engine bay, and they didn't look great, so. What I've done is um, put a thin skim of easy sand filler on them. I haven't gone mental because a lot of it you won't see, but the big flat areas like on the near side uh, where the, the engine bay is actually quite empty. Um, I'm making sure that looks nice and smooth. And then on the driver's side, the header tank and the brake master cylinder and servo disguise most of this. The clutch hides all of that and the steering column's way down here. So I've just dressed the um, centre and tomorrow when it's hardened I'll come back and um, flatten that off. Then I'll uh, be applying my textured bumper paint if I can find it. Oh there it is. This stuff. Depending on what nozzle you set you can change the surface texture. So I'll have an experiment and see what looks best. But that's for tomorrow.